were married in the early 80s mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we, we fell apart and then we drifted apart. We had this very interesting collaboration where we made a lot of a, both photographic work and a series of massive panels which we exhibited both here and internationally. Mm -hmm. Um, somewhere in the 80s we did go our separate ways. We've mm. come together in a kind of a, in, a, in an artistic way again mm. and so there was a notion of healing that kind of wound. Mm. Um, that's just a personal um, subjective mm. uh, metaphor for it. Mm -hmm. And then there's the collective metaphor because it's uh, one of the, the, the biggest issue in terms of Australia and its Aboriginal mm. uh, culture mm. and the inability of the present government to say sorry mm. and, uh, and the implications of that. The art of saying sorry really reflects upon a particular painting, which is the one I'm sitting in front. The actual subject is a blank wall, and behind it is a white woman. Mm -hmm. But upon realizing uh, uh, the dynamics of this relation between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people in this country, I decided to call it uh, Black Boy, I'm Sorry. Both of us are trying to tap into the archetypal level yep. um, of, uh, of the psyche mm -hmm. and, and in that sense there's a common ground between Aboriginality and, mm -hmm. and the notion of creativity, of mm -hmm. using you know, signs and symbols in a very reductive way. Mm -hmm. And in a way we come from the opposite end, we come from you know, basically a kind of contemporary mm -hmm. European art. Uh, tradition, mm. but um, but we're still attempting to tap into the same reservoir. The slit on a prisoner, on a bus of a prisoner, where you just see this slit of a landscape. Yeah. We are all the prisoners. Yeah. The landscape is there. It's going to stay there. Yeah. And we are the ones that are vanishing. <laughs> yeah.